All right, hello everyone. This is Krodek giving you um, what will be my last game of the day. But for all of you guys out there who are watching, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. And if you guys want more StarCraft II action or just the, love the sound of my voice, please, please, please remember to subscribe. I haven't asked for subscribers in quite some time, and that may be one of the reasons why my subscriptions are a little bit lower than normal. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game. We do have a red Protoss player here at the 6 o'clock position of Antigua Shipyard, and it is not going to be cross spawns as I am always used to seeing. This is going to be in the counterclockwise direction, STC as the blue Terran player. Now, I've always wondered what high level play on Antigua Shipyard would look like when it's not cross spawn. And I gotta say that currently STC has a significant advantage. If you take a look at the positioning of the map, the third base for the Protoss is actually very, very close to right over here. In fact, siege tanks can position themselves here to actually provide cover for a, a small drop and do a tactical hit, perhaps um, dropping in units. Now let's take a look at what's going to be happening. We are going into a gateway here by the Protoss player. And no big surprise there. Once that um, gateway is done, there's that assimilator. Assimilator should be followed up with another pylon. And after that pylon is done, we should see a cybernetics core. Standard build that happens 9 times out of 10 for Protoss players as we see the Protoss now scouting out in the clockwise direction. Alright, STC actually opening up with a barracks and a refinery. So it looks as though he's going to be going for a faster tech build, perhaps reactor hellions. And based upon what the direction and the pacing of the game, game goes, he may even try to go into cloaked banshees or perhaps set up an expansion. Now, we'll see if he does train up any marines. It looks like a factory will be set up right after this. You can see straight up 100 gas there's that factory is he going to train a marine yes he will and now it's going to be up to that marine in order to shoot down this pro before it gets up the ramp so far cybernex core is nearing completion already there's that other pylon down over here a zealot is being added and then what you can do is right after the zealot is ready you can go ahead and train up a stalker and if you even rally into your opponent's base at all they actually arrive there at about the same time just because of that stalker does have faster movement speed you're gonna see that stalker perhaps um, come out in just a moment um, it did get a second chrono boost. Are we going to see another stalker trained up behind it? Or are we going to have a little bit of wasted chrono boost there? It looks like we could have a little bit of wasted chrono boost. Or no, there is another stalker once again. 26 supply compared to 20 supply. There is one marine on patrol. There is zealots now hiding purposefully in the vents here. And I like that idea. Purposely hiding in the vents to not reveal yourself until a little bit later. STC, did he spot that stalker? That I'm not so sure about. As we are going into a starport. Reactor Hellion's about to come in. The Marine needs to get away. And this is not good news at all. STC is going to be in a bit of trouble. A Zealot and a Stalker now engaging on the front door. Placing down a whole bunch of pressure. SCVs will need to be brought over to repair this front door. As there are only Hellions there to try to counteract. There you go. There's some damage to, um, to the Stalkers and the Hellions there. SCVs now making their way. Oh, there's a lowered Supply Depot. As we are seeing both sides engaging. Another Stalker now coming in. Two Stalkers and a Zealot walk into a Terran base and are dealing so much damage here. Gotta be a joke. Hellions now looking to make their way down. SCVs acting as early medevacs repairing all of these Hellions. And now the Hellions are once again on the move. Will the Hellions perhaps be able to actually torch down some of this as we are going into a medevac and it looks like it wants to do a Hellion drop. Hellions now making their way will take control of that center Zelnaga watchtower as the Hellions are still on the move here. Supply Depot about to be completed. Command Center now being added. Medevac finally being trained after, uh, more importantly, after, after, after that... Um, that supply depot is done there, so there was a lot of time wasted. One probe trying to sneak out will not be able to do so, as the Hellions are engaging against that stalker. There are sentries up on the high ground here, and if the Hellions actually... Oh, Scanner Sweep and Tate able to take down one, two sentries. That is a huge play by STC, 
perhaps just capitalizing on the mistake and the bad unit positioning of his opponent. All right, these Hellions, where are they going to be going now? As we are going to have three Hellions drop up um, on the high ground here inside that Fog of War. Will that Medivac, will the Pylon spot it? I, I think there was just a small, small glimpse. Yes, the Hellions are now making their way up as the Hellions are now making their way up over here. These probes are going to fall. Meanwhile, these Hellions are inside engaging back and forth. The Hellions now need to get away, able to get inside there as the Hellions got in a little bit more damage once again. All right, Hellions now looking to torch. Is the Medivac going to come back for more? Yes, it looks as though that is going to be the case here as the Hellions just running around free. Hellions now dropping inside the main base. Another probe will get taken down. Another probe there as the Hellions now try to get away the Medivac down to 46 hit points as these Hellions now come back around on the far side. STC should be upgrading that to an Orbital Command in just a second. Siege Tank on the move, but it will be going up against Immortals and STC has just been progressively getting better in in the games that I have been casting. So perhaps he wasn't warmed up, but his micro now very strong and looking very, very good. Medivac just kind of baiting that he is trying to go for a drop. And now, oh, is he going to turn around? Oh, the Medivac needs to turn around. And STC loses a Medivac very needlessly as the Hellions now try to engage on the top. It looks like another sentry was lost here. I don't spot one at all as a siege tank now comes in. The siege tank is very effective, but there is also an immortal. And with no Marines or only a handful of Marines to engage, this might be bad. All right. It looks as though STC is going to be forced to engage here. Yes, he cannot afford to just simply lose all of these units. The Immortals now focusing down that siege tank and STC now in a bit of trouble. Bunker now needs to be placed down. Factory going to be establishing up um, a tech lab there. Double training up of medevacs, but is going to be too little too late as the Stalkers have completely countered things once more. All right, Bunker now taking a lot of damage. Marines now up on the high ground. It looks as though the Orbital Command will be forced to lift off or perhaps do something else as the Marines on the high ground were actually able to pick apart some easy, easy units there. All right, cancellation on the factory. The Stalkers don't want to stick around though, surprisingly enough, as we see that they could have been they could have dealt a lot of damage here you go attempting to take down the orbital command marines now moving together the stalkers perhaps not knowing if stim has been upgraded and now backing off at perhaps the wrong time as now medevacs are reinforcing the longer this longer this attack goes the better it goes for stc as he is reinforcing with better units but now we are going into a warp prism that was the reason why we were waiting and here we go here's the engagement again there's the phase mode and the units are going to be warping in is the oh cancellation scvs coming off marines now trying to surround yes we'll be able to get off one of those uh, take down the immortal as the marines are still engaging together scvs now working together as well getting picked apart one at a time and stc with no, with a supply disadvantage in terms of economy, but he does have mules. Marines now trying to fight back again. Marines do have stim. SCVs, where are they going? Running straight head on into a group there. Okay, we are now going into a Thor. I am very curious as to if that Thor will be a strong enough counter against the Colossi, which will be making their way out. Colossi, extended thermal lance range, gives a range of 9 compared to a range of seven if you've ever seen colossi fight like fully upgraded colossi go up against fully upgraded thors it's not even a fair fight as many of the thors die before they even get within range and if they try to use the 250 millimeter strike cannon the animation takes so long that the colossus still kills them anyway all right, Marines and Marauders are ready to go. Here we have a small window of opportunity. SCC now. Oh, are they going to try to engage? There are a lot of Stalkers here. And who is going to win out in this war? There you go. Able to stutter step their way back. Dealing a lot of damage to those Zealots. And now picking off a Stalker or two. The units are now backing away. But now this is opening up against the probes. Medivacs now getting a little bit shot at. As the Stalkers are still trying to engage. Marines and Marauders are engaging here. Another Stalker gets taken down. But a Colossus now has arrived. What will be happening here? Are they all going to get picked up? Yes, they are. And beautifully done. STC with a perfect tactical retreat knows when exactly he needs to move. All right. There are two medevacs here. It looks like a drop or an unloading will be ready to go as a Thor is going to be added to the group. The Thor can drop its hammer or I guess shoot the hammer. 
and try to take down this Colossus while it has superior range. Metavax Marines, here we go. The Colossus is standing tall all on top of that Stalker Zealot army. That Thor, if it gets actually in front, um, would absorb a bit of that damage as I don't believe the Colossi can actually hit many more units than that Thor itself. All right, Thor is now already to ready to make its move. We are going into a Thor ships. So Thor ships, the Metavax, gonna be unloading the Thor here. And here you go. There, the one Thor. Is another Thor gonna get unloaded? Yes, it is. And unloading straight up on top of that Colossus. The Thor does get focused down. But after absorbing so much damage, STC gets the victory. So three straight wins for STC. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.